There are a couple ways you can go about printing off a range of cells, like if I don't want to print off this worksheet, just the range that I have selected here. Select it, and then go ahead and click on File, go down to Print, and you can see it wants to select the active sheet, the sheet that you have selected, out of your workbook. So if you have four, five, or six worksheets and you select sheet number five, you'd see that over here because that's the one you have selected. That makes it active. But instead, click on the drop-down arrow. You can print the entire workbook or what we have selected. So click on Print Selection, and there it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and hit the back arrow. If you want to do multiple selections, then hold down the Control key and click here, 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 and drag there. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five selections. Let's see how it handles it in the print preview. Click on File, go down to Print, and you can see that we've got a page for each selection. So each selection gets its own page. Yay! Let's go ahead and go back. Now you can imagine that after I close out of this, if I want to print the same area, I have to reselect it. And that can be very annoying. So instead, let's go ahead and set those areas to always print when I go to print. To set it, come up here and click on the Page Layout tab. And with my selection, come up here and click on Print Area to set it. Then click off, and I don't know if you can see it, but you've got this thin line that goes around the first print area, then that cell, which is the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Let's see if it works. Click on the File tab, go down to Print. Hey, where's my print areas? Of course it's not going to show it, because my current selection is the print selection. And what I have selected is the cell that contains the number 35. Go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow and go back to Active Sheet, and on the Active Sheet, we have a total of five selections that we set, and it's one for each page, one, two, three, four, and five. Great, it works. Let's go back. And then to clear it, just come up here and click on Print Area, go down to Clear Print Area. And then another way to go about setting your print areas, if you select a few right here, and you come up here and you set it, and you have additional ones, but it's not within your view here, you want to scroll down or over to find it, then once you find it, go ahead and click to select those ranges that you want to add to it, and then come up here and click on Print Area to Add. And then once you add it, then we can go ahead and go File, down to Print, and see we have a total again, five selections, so one for each page, one, two, three, four, five. Great. Let's go back, and then let's go ahead and clear it. And Control Home to go back to the beginning of the worksheet, cell A1. And the next feature that I want to talk about, actually already talked about it in the previous training video, but not in detail, I want to cover here is called scaling. So when it comes to printing off our worksheets, if it can't all be fit onto one page, for example, you can see that when I went to the print preview and came out of it, it shows me now my page breaks. So you've got the dash line here that says it's cutting off after hours and not including rate and gross onto page one. And when I scroll down, I've got my horizontal page break that cuts off those columns over there, but continues the data of the columns that it can fit onto page 1, onto page 2, and then that's page 3, and then page 4. So if I'm like, okay, I want to be able to include rate and gross onto page 1, the scaling option allows you to shrink the font when it comes to printing, not when it comes to your working view. In other words, I could come up here on the Home tab and select it, and then go ahead and change the font size from 10 down to 6 or 5, and make it really tiny here, but for me working in it, that's not helpful. But for printing it off, it'll be helpful because I can fit everything, hopefully, onto one or two pages. But then that may be so small, those who look at it may need a magnifying glass. So we don't have to be ridiculous about it. We can just go ahead and try to see if we can give it a nudge and scale it down just a bit. So when it prints off, it'll hopefully move that page break over a couple of columns to include all of these columns. So to get to the scaling option, come up here and click on the Page Layout tab, and there it is, Scale to Fit. Right now it's at 100% of the normal font size. You can go ahead and reduce it, and when I do that, watch this vertical page break and see what happens. And when I click on it to go down, hey, just going down to 95% says that it moves the break over to include rate, so that will be included on page 1. How about if we go down to, well, there we go, 85% includes gross. So I'm thinking that's pretty good if it includes gross, and let's look at this, and I scroll down. There's the horizontal page break, so there's page 1 and page 2. Let's go ahead and see if that actually appears in Print Preview, just two pages. Click on the File tab, go down to Print. Oh, it's got three. One, two, and three. It's got a blank page. Now, as we talked about in an earlier training video, when you get a blank page, it means that it's struggling just to get that last bit of data over 
because like the margins it may be just nudging it over but not enough to push the text over so you can go ahead and play with your margins or you can play with the custom scaling and in fact you got it right here click on the arrow and go to custom scaling options and there we go it's at 85 percent so you don't have to go to the front stage on the page layout tab to adjust it there we can adjust it here so if i go down to 80 percent let's see how it handles that and click okie dokie all right, that was enough to go ahead and cut off the last page and to move everything onto two pages. But when I click on to zoom in, ooh, that's tinier font. But still, well, for right now, legible to me. So that's pretty good, unless, of course, I want to fit it all onto one page. And to do that, I can go ahead and scale it down, or without guessing, let me come down here. You can click on it to go to custom scaling, or, well, you can see it brings up the page setup, or just come down here and click on page setup brings up the same window and you can select fit one page wide by one page tall so we're fitting it on one by one page one page when I click okie dokie okay that text is a lot tinier but does it fit on one page yes click on it to zoom out how it's gonna fit onto one page with the extra space down below and to the right and so if we go back to the page layout tab to the scale to fit group Notice that the 70% is no longer workable. You can't click up or down because you're adjusting it now by pages. So if I'm like, okay, maybe one by one page isn't good enough. And you can see when I hover over it in the pop-up for the width, it says you can shrink the width of your printout to fit a certain number of pages or the height. So if I say, now watch when I change it from page one down to page two, this is going to increase because I'm allowing it to breathe unloosen the belt and expand as it were so click on the drop down arrow and go to two pages now it increases the font from 70 to 81 percent let's see how it handles it file down to print we got two pages let's click on to zoom in a uh, little bit bigger definitely and because of that let me click on it to zoom out it actually fills up a little bit more to the right so it's not so cut off it takes up more the right margin and so it requires two pages to be able to have larger font. We can go ahead and go back. And then if we want to go back to automatic and then also change that to automatic, then you get the scale to fit options. So you can go ahead and tweak it that way instead of doing it numerically and selecting how many pages wide or high to be able to adjust it to fit it to a certain degree. Now, don't forget, not only can you scale down, but you can scale up. So going up to 125%, look at this page break right here. Let me scroll to the top. It used to be after hours, but before rate. But because I'm making the font larger, not in my working area, which is nice, but larger when I print it off, and then click on File, go to Print. It's going to cut it off. Let me click on it to zoom in. Now that's larger than size 10. It looks like it's size 12. So that way when I print it off, it's legible to those as opposed to me and what I've got workable for me at size 10 in my worksheet. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.